So your particular challenge started with the operations team in mm. Pioneer. Mm. Could you tell me a little bit about that team and, mm. and where they found themselves when this started? Well, they're, um, they're very crucial to the whole um, business in terms of the, the, the amount of employees that are within that, that, that um, configuration of functions uh, is considerable. It's about you know, uh, over a third of the organisation. Um, so the, the, the main challenges that they had were that they were um, a, you know, a group of very um, seasoned leaders. They had uh, very specific challenges um, in terms of projects that they were involved in, in terms of you know, restructure of the business, front office, um, introduction of a new front office system, um, and really to position themselves for the next stage of the business, having come through the, the financial crisis. Um, and also then the whole area of, of developing themselves as leaders, um, managing the change process with it that was um, uh, that was going to be involved with the with the future of the business. Um, so there was some very complex areas that needed to be addressed um, uh, when I initially got involved with the team. And their internal perception was quite challenging. Mm. Mm. Tell me a little bit more about that. Well, I think that the, the it was interesting when we did the stakeholder analysis, um, because it, it actually articulated their internal perception uh, to a large extent, even if they maybe weren't ready to admit that. Um, but the the they the perception was a very experienced team, um, uh, very uh, you know seasoned uh, individuals within that team dealing with very diverse areas of the business, very uh, dependable, um, execution focused um, and an awareness that they may have been perceived as not being the most glamorous side of the business or not being the most um, fundamental part of the business which wasn't uh, which wasn't the case, that was a perception and therefore then that was manifesting itself in terms of how they uh, acted, how they behaved, how they saw themselves. Were they in fact a team? Uh, no, no and I think one of the, the, um, the pieces that was brought into their awareness if you like that they may have found uncomfortable at the time was that they they may have perceived themselves at, as a, a team at that particular moment in time, but they were really a group of individuals. Okay. So, what persuaded you to consider a systemic intervention mm. um, for a group like this? What were the factors in your mind? Well, I referred to, to um, some of them previously in terms of there was an expectation and my perception of what was expected of them as a, an overall function and a very important um, function within the, the, the business was to position themselves for the next stage of the business. So to become much more strategic and focus, um, to become much more proactive in actually their own destiny um, and to equip them um, as you know key leaders within the business to execute on change, to transform and actually be be part of the design of that transformation um, and to be actually looking to be um, a central part of the future um, of the business and also supporting them in coping with the changes that they needed to execute on um, over the next you know, two, three, five years. Was there resistance and in what form did it take? If there was, because if you if you look at the systemic team coaching model, in terms of what I know it can deliver and have um, witnessed it delivering, um, you know, as I've been involved in it, it sounds like a big ask, you know, and there would be a certain amount of cynicism, and rightly so. I mean, I can I can absolutely identify with that in terms of you're talking about, you know, at the same time, leadership development change management 
um, strategic thinking, transformational leadership. Um, so a lot of very complex areas to be tackled at the same time, plus doing it in the middle of a massive global project. Um, so it was a big ask of people, um, and there was a, a, the sense I was picking up was, you mean you want me to do what you want me to do in terms of delivery of this massive piece of work, and you want me to be involved in this in this piece of of, um, of work at the same time. So there was very much a sense of building the boat and sailing it at the same time, which I can understand can be very uncomfortable. Um, because you're, you're, you're expect, there's a lot expected um, of each individual and there's a lot expected of the team. What were your objectives setting out? To, for the team to be much more cohesive, for them to have the belief that they could actually be core to the future of the business and that they had the ability um, to, to restructure, to change, and to actually be managers of, of, of how that would, um, you know, how that would um, happen over the next um, three to five years, that they could be the designers, if you like, of, their, um, of how the operational function uh, would, would change and would need to change, um, and that they also would um, have support in terms of um, changing the, the, the business and, and in changing the business being open to a change in themselves as well in terms of being a really collaborative, cohesive team that, that understood the talents within it, the expertise, the skills and had the ability to be able to leverage on, on, on those uh, various elements for to be a, a, you know, a truly high performing team.